yes, this is going to be a short and a simple walkthrough in setting up um, Python virtual environment and adding a requirement.txt file to your program. To begin with, you must have Python installed in your computer. If you do not have Python installed, you can uh, simply navigate to this page here and this is this is the uh, Python website where you can download the um, um, Python program. You can, uh, this is the latest uh, version of Python, like the very first Python that I use right now. You can choose the operating system of your choice and the web Python in your computer. To confirm that you have Python installed and running, you can run the command Python that version. I'm going to run that now. And you can see it's, it's, it's telling me that I have Python 3.5.0 installed in my computer. All right. Secondly, to um, be able to use virtual environment, you have you have you need um, Python package manager running on your computer. And if you do not have that installed, you can um, navigate to this link here. You see this link here, and when you do that, it should take you to this page all you need to do is to save as control s and you can see i already have um, the get this file installed in my uh, sorry downloaded or saved in my in my computer actually on my desktop so i don't have to save it anymore so you can for you can just go ahead and click save so um having done that you uh, navigate to the path where you have your um get this file you are installed and run the command python to get it to so i so i'm going to do that now i'm already on my desktop so i don't need to navigate anywhere you can see when i um, run the code python get people py hit enter it's going to install the pip um, program for me so i can um, use um, so i can make use of I already have this installed so actually no, I need to install my finger button and installing this new button and just and save so I'm just um, installing it. Alright, it has um, successfully installed now so you can see from here that I have um, pip version 20.1.1 and to confirm that I have pip installed or you want to confirm if you have pip installed you can easily run the command pip dash dash fashion as well so let me clear and do this make it enter so you can see tell me that i have um p version 20.1.1 so that is that's that so um to start using the virtual environment in your computer you have or you need to have the virtual env software running and to do that you Mac and Linux users, you can use the command sudo pip install virtual env wrapper. Virtual env wrapper is software on which your virtual environment runs on or runs with. And for Windows users, you just add the, um, the add the dash win extension to your to the command. So it's basically pip install virtual environment wrapper dash win for Windows users. And when you do this on Windows, you are good to go and you are ready to run a um, virtual environment for uh, at, at, on the go. However, for Linux and Mac users, you have to do a little bit of configuration. You can see the standard here and um, this is a working um, example. I'll do is that I will attach this file to the video so that um, those who want to use the file can easily get access. Once you successfully perform the procedures that are that are just listed, you are good and ready to, to run your virtual environment. And now to, to run it, you first of all have to create your virtual environment. And to do that, you use the command mk virtual env and the name of the virtual environment you need to create. So I'm going to create my name.
or write. You can see it has created a virtual environment XYZ for me here. And um, that's just cool. Now to list out all the um, all the created uh, virtual environment in your computer, you use the command walk on this command will list out all the um, virtual environment you created or that are existing in your computer. And from here you can see that I have you can see the list of all the virtual environment I have. You can see the, the XYZ virtual environment I just created. Alright. Now to switch between virtual environment or activate the virtual environment, you use the same command work on and the name of the virtual environment you need to switch to for activity. So I'm going to switch to one of my virtual environments called DMR. Um, enter. And you can see that switch from XYZ to DMR on the firewall. And to deactivate your current active environment, you just simply the command DMR. So if you enter now, you can see that it has totally deactivated the virtual environment I was on now to reactivate all i need to do is to do work on xyz enter and it has reactivated my xyz virtual environment now to remove the virtual environment you have installed or you created before you use the command rom virtual env and the name of the virtual environment you wish to remove so i'm going to do rom virtual env xyz now to remove xyz environment and click enter you can see it has deleted this virtual um, this xyz environment on my computer so when i do work on again now you can see i don't have the xyz environment anymore now you must understand that uh, all your installed packages and dependencies are saved in your virtual environment or in the active virtual environment you have been installed in and to to list out all the dependencies in your virtual environment, you use the command pip list. Okay, let me um, activate my DNR environment again. There you go. So when I do pip list and pip enter, you can see it has listed all the um, all the dependencies, all, all the packages and dependencies that I have in this DNR environment. All right. So now to save a list of all the dependencies in your virtual environment, to save the list of all the, all the dependencies in your virtual environment, you use the command pip freeze into requirements.txt. Now requirements.txt could be any other thing, it's just a name, but the standard practice is the requirements is to use the name requirements.txt. So when you run this command, and hit enter it's gonna it will go ahead to create a text file named requirement.txt with all of your dependencies now when I check my um, path now you can see it has list it has um, it has created this text file with all the dependencies that will that was listed here yeah so that is that that's how to um, um, save all your dependencies into a requirement.txt file. Um, for example, you 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 want to um, install all the listed dependencies in another environment or in a, in a totally different um, um, computer. You can easily um, take that navigate to that um, the part the part where you have your um, uh, requirement.txt file and run the command pip install dash r requirement.txt once you do that run that you to um, install all the listed dependencies that are in the requirement.txt file you can see it's already it's telling me the requirement already satisfied because i'm trying to install um dependencies that are already existing in this um virtual environment 